Howdy folks, welcome back. Today we're diving into something really cool. In this video, let's take a step-by-step -step look at how to add breadboard parts to the scene and align them properly. First, I go to the Structure tab from the menu. Let's add the first breadboard piece to the scene. If it's in the right position, I click the green check mark to fix it in place. Now, let's add the second breadboard piece. We use the right mouse button to move it around. Then align it nicely with the first piece. If the position looks good, we click the green check again to lock it. Let's switch to breadboard default view using the home menu. Let's add the final breadboard piece. We adjust its position using the right click. Once it's properly placed, let's fix it in place. Now let's take a top view. Are the parts aligned correctly? If they're a bit off, we can adjust them again using right click. And that's it. The breadboard layout is complete. In the next step, we can start adding the circuit components. From the top right menu, we access the scene settings. Here, we can configure graphical options like ambient occlusion, bloom, anti-aliasing, shadow quality, projection, and lighting. These settings affect the visual appearance and can be adjusted based on your needs. Our breadboard is ready. Now let's add a 12 volt DC power supply to the scene. Using the right mouse button, place the power supply anywhere you prefer. Once it's positioned, click the green check mark to confirm. Next, connect the power supply's positive VCC and negative GND terminals to the appropriate rails on the breadboard. Click the green check mark again to finalize the connections and activate the power supply. Now we use jumper wires to extend the positive and negative lines to the other side of the breadboard. This ensures voltage is evenly distributed across both rails. Let's test the power supply. Select the Hand tool from the menu. Right-click and drag left or right on the adjustment knob to change the output voltage. This power supply can output up to 12 volts. Finally, save the project to your computer so you can use it later. Choose your desired folder and export the project file. And that's it. The breadboard layout is complete. In the next video, we'll start adding the circuit components. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.